grandfather. Noun, a father of someone's parent. Verb, to be, or act as, a grandfather to. Impact. Noun, the striking of one body against another. Collision. Verb, to collide or strike. The act of impinging. New. Verb, to perceive the truth or factuality of. To be certain of or that. Hunting. Noun, the act of finding and killing a wild animal. Either for sport or with the intention of using its parts to make food. Clothes. Etc. Innovative. Adjective, characterized by the creation of new ideas or inventions. Loves. Noun. Strong affection. Verb. Usually transitive. Sometimes intransitive. Stative. To have a strong affection for. Someone or something. Verb. To praise. Commend. Beekeeper. Noun. A person who maintains hives and keeps bees, especially for the production of honey. Messes. Noun. A disagreeable mixture or confusion of things. Hence. A situation resulting from blundering or from misunderstanding. Disorder. Verb. Transitive. Often used with, up. To make untidy or dirty. Noun. Mass. A church service. Verb. To take meals with a mess. Missionary. Noun. One who is sent on a mission. Adjective. Relating to a. Religious. Mission. Fluff. Noun. Anything light. Soft or fuzzy. Especially fur. Hair. Feathers. Verb. To make something fluffy. Manipulating. Verb. To move, arrange or operate something using the hands. Fisherman. Noun, a fisher, a person engaged in fishing. Miles. Noun, the international mile. A unit of length precisely equal to 1.609344 kilometers established by treaty among Anglophone nations in 1959. Divided into 5,280 feet or 1,760 yards. Adverb. Much. A lot. Used to emphasize a comparative. Mole. Noun. A pigmented spot on the skin. A nevus. Slightly raised. And sometimes hairy. Granddaughter. Noun. The daughter of someone's child. Diver. Noun. Someone who dives. Especially as a sport. Dimension. Noun. A single aspect of a given thing. Verb. To mark. Cut or shape something to specified dimensions. Lands. Noun. The part of earth which is not covered by oceans or other bodies of water. Verb. To descend to a surface. Especially from the air. Just. Adjective. Factually right. Correct. Factual. Adverb. Only. Simply. Merely. Interjection. Expressing dismay or discontent. Critical. Noun. A critical value. Factor. Etc. Adjective. Inclined to find fault or criticize. Doctor. Noun. A physician. A member of the medical profession. One who is trained and licensed to heal the sick or injured. The final examination and qualification may award a doctor degree in which case the post-nominal. Letters are D.O. D.P.M. M.D. D.M.D. D.D.S. Angle. Noun. A figure formed by two rays which start from a common point. A plane angle. Or by three planes that intersect. A solid angle. Verb. Often in the passive. To place. Something. At an angle. Airplane. Noun. A powered heavier than air aircraft with fixed wings. Verb. To fly in an aeroplane. Convert. Noun. A person who has converted to a religion. Verb. To transform or change. Something. Into another form. Substance. State. Or product. Cancelled. Verb. To cross out something with lines etc. Adjective. No longer planned or scheduled. Flood. Noun. A. Usually disastrous. Overflow of water from a lake or other body of water due to excessive rainfall or other input of. Water. Verb. To overflow. As by water from excessive rainfall. Meditation. 
Noun, a devotional exercise of, or leading to contemplation. Heartburn. Noun, a burning pain in the chest that is caused by stomach acid entering the gullet. Needed. Verb, to have an absolute requirement for. Adjective, necessary. Being required. Allergies. Noun, a disorder of the immune system causing adverse reactions to substances. Allergens. Not harmful to most and marked by the body's production of histamines and associated with atopy. Anaphylaxis. An asthma. Complain. Verb. To express feelings of pain, dissatisfaction, or resentment. Hand. Noun. The part of the forelimb below the forearm or wrist in a human. And the corresponding part in many other animals. Verb. To give. Pass. Or transmit with the hand. Literally or figuratively. City. Noun. A large settlement. Bigger than a town. Sometimes with a specific legal definition. Depending on the place. Derived. Verb. To obtain or receive. Something. From something else. Adjective. Of. Or pertaining to. Conditions unique to the descendant species of a clade. And not found in earlier ancestral species. Bad. Noun. Error, mistake. Adjective, unfavorable. Negative, not good. Adverb, badly. Accounted. Verb, to provide explanation. Esteem. Noun, favorable regard. Verb, to set a high value on. To regard with respect or reverence. R. Noun, an accepted, but deprecated and rarely used. SI unit of area equal to 100 square meters. Or a former unit of approximately the same extent. Symbol. A. Movement. Noun. Physical motion between points in space. Historian. Noun. A writer of history. A chronicler. An analyst. Gallery. Noun. An institution. Building. Or room for the exhibition and conservation of works of art. Verb. To show off. Disaster. Noun. An unexpected natural or man-made catastrophe of substantial extent causing significant physical damage or destruction. Loss of life or sometimes permanent change to the natural environment. Books. Noun. A collection of sheets of paper bound together to hinge at one edge. Containing printed or written material. Pictures. Etc. Verb. To reserve. Something. For future use. Describes. Verb. To represent in words. Gala. Noun. Pomp. Show. Or festivity. Adjective. Celebratory. Festive. Awareness. Noun. The state or level of consciousness where sense data can be confirmed by an observer. Forest. Noun. A dense uncultivated tract of trees and undergrowth. Larger than woods. Verb. To cover an area with trees. Lyrics. Noun, a lyric poem. Noun, the words to a song, or other vocal music. Empire. Adjective. Furniture. Following or imitating a style popular during the First French Empire. 1804-1814. Noun, a political unit. Typically having an extensive territory or comprising a number of territories or nations especially one comprising one or more kingdoms, and ruled by a single supreme authority. Cypress. Noun. An evergreen coniferous tree with flattened shoots bearing small scale-like leaves, whose dark foliage is sometimes associated with mourning. In family Cupressaceae, especially the genera Cupressus and Camisiparus. Directed. Verb. To manage. Control. Steer. Adjective, in a manner emphasizing one's point of view. Frozen. Verb. Especially of a liquid. To become solid due to low temperature. Adjective. Having undergone the process of freezing. In ice form. Determines. Verb. To set the boundaries or limits of. Cozy. Noun. A padded or knit covering put on an item to keep it warm. Especially a teapot or egg. Verb. To become snug and comfortable. Adjective. 
affording comfort and warmth, snug, social, fireplace, noun, an open hearth for holding a fire at the base of a chimney, nine, noun, the digit or figure nine, numeral, a numerical value equal to nine, the number following eight and preceding ten, bags, noun, a flexible container made of cloth, paper, plastic, etc., verb, to put into a bag, armchair, noun, a chair with supports for the arms or elbows, verb, to create based on theory or general knowledge rather than data, adjective, remote from actual involvement, including a person retired from previously active involvement, baking, verb, with person as subject, to cook, something, in an oven, noun, an action in which something is baked, adjective, that bakes, monitoring, verb, to watch over, to guard, noun, the carrying out of surveillance on, or continuous or regular observation of, an environment or people in order to detect signals, movements or changes of state or quality, activist, noun, one who is politically active in the role of a citizen, especially, one who campaigns for change, adjective, behaving as an activist, covering, verb, to place something over or upon, as to conceal or protect, in, noun, a position of power or influence, or a way to get it, verb, to enclose, adjective, located indoors, especially at home or at one's office or place of work, adverb, at or towards the interior of a defined space, such as a building or room, preposition, used to indicate location, inclusion, or position within spatial, temporal or other limits, kindness, noun, the state of being kind, defined, verb, to determine with precision, to mark out with distinctness, to ascertain or exhibit clearly, adjective, having a definition or value, experts, noun, a person with extensive knowledge or ability in a given subject, implies, verb, of a proposition, to have as a necessary consequence, march, noun, a formal, rhythmic way of walking, used especially by soldiers, bands and in ceremonies, verb, to walk with long, regular strides, as a soldier does, cancelled, verb, to cross out something with lines etc., adjective, no longer planned or scheduled, correspondent, noun, someone who or something which corresponds, adjective, corresponding, suitable, adapted, congruous, notification, noun, the act of notifying, holds, noun, a grasp or grip, verb, to grasp or grip, noun, the cargo area of a ship or aircraft, often holds or cargo hold, detailed, verb, to explain in detail, adjective, characterized by attention to detail and thoroughness of treatment, completion, noun, the act or state of being or making something complete, conclusion, accomplishment, Franco, Noun, the currency issued between 1805 and 1808 of Luca in Tuscany, Italy. Fraction. Noun, a part of a whole, especially a comparatively small part. Verb, to divide or break into fractions. Catches. Noun, the act of seizing or capturing. Verb, heading, to capture, overtake. Legislation. Noun, the act of legislating. Preparation and enactment of laws, the laws enacted. Lever. Noun, except in generalized senses below, a crowbar. Verb, to move with a lever. Already. Adverb, prior to some specified time. Either past, present, or future. By this time, previously. Cheer. Noun, a cheerful attitude. Happiness. A good, happy or positive mood, verb, to gladden, to make cheerful, often with up, chocolate, noun, a food made from ground roasted cocoa beans, verb, chiefly in the past participle, 
to add chocolate to to cover food in chocolate adjective made of or containing chocolate adapter noun one who is capable of adapting to differing situations abortion noun the expulsion from the womb of a fetus or embryo before it is fully developed with loss of the fetus either naturally as a spontaneous abortion now usually called a miscarriage or deliberately as an induced abortion month noun a period into which a year is divided historically based on the phases of the moon marking verb to put a mark on something to make something recognizable by a mark to label or write on something noun the action of the verb to mark lamb noun a young sheep verb of a sheep to give birth continuing verb to proceed with doing an activity to prolong an activity noun a continuation dances noun a sequence of rhythmic steps or movements usually performed to music for pleasure or as a form of social interaction verb to move with rhythmic steps or movements especially in time to music caught verb heading to capture overtake adjective of the method of being out in which the striker hits the ball and a fielder catches it awards noun a judgment sentence or final decision specifically the decision of arbitrators in a case submitted verb to give by sentence or judicial determination to assign or apportion after careful regard to the nature of the case to a judge carry noun a manner of transporting or lifting something the grip or position in which something is carried verb to lift something and take it to another place to transport something by lifting feels adjective of or relating to the emotions noun a quality of an object experienced by touch verb heading to use or experience the sense of touch noun feelings emotions consumption noun the act of eating drinking or using limit noun a restriction a bound beyond which one may not go adjective being a fixed limit game horrible noun a thing that causes horror a terrifying thing particularly a prospective bad consequence asserted as likely to result from an act adjective causing horror terrible shocking delegate noun a person authorized to act as representative for another a deputy verb to authorize someone to be a delegate extroverted adjective turned or thrust outwards especially develops verb to change with a specific direction progress methods noun a process by which a task is completed a way of doing something followed by the adposition of to or for before the purpose of the process verb to apply a method noun a trick where the boarder grabs the heel edge of the board with their back hand between their feet and then pulls the board towards their back while arching their back and bending knees ended verb to come to an end adjective in combination having a specified kind or number of ends disappointment noun a feeling of sadness or frustration when a strongly held expectation is not met hiking verb to take a long walk for pleasure or exercise noun walking in the countryside for pleasure or sport emits verb to send out or give off forever noun an extremely long time adjective permanent lasting adverb duration for all time for all eternity for a lifetime for an infinite amount of time crusty noun a tramp or homeless young person with poor cleanliness adjective having a crust especially a thick one cancel noun a cancellation us non-standard in some kinds of english verb to cross out something with lines etc inappropriate 
adjective, not appropriate, not suitable for the situation, time, or place. Discuss. Verb. To converse or debate concerning a particular topic. Deprived. Verb. To take something away from. Someone. And keep it away. To deny someone something. Adjective. Subject to deprivation. Poor. Deportation. Noun. The act of deporting or exiling. Or the state of being deported. Banishment. Transportation. Conscious. Noun. The part of the mind that is aware of itself. The consciousness. Adjective. Alert. Awake. With one's mental faculties active. Lead. Noun. A heavy. Pliable. Inelastic metal element. Having a bright. Bluish color. But easily tarnished. Both malleable and ductile. Though with little tenacity. It is easily fusible. Forms alloys with other metals. And is an ingredient of solder and type metal. Atomic number 82. Symbol PB. From Latin plumbum. Verb. To cover. Fill. Or affect with lead. Dependency. Noun. A state of dependence. A refusal to exercise initiative. Figure. Noun. A drawing or diagram conveying information. Verb. To calculate. To solve a mathematical problem. Hands. Noun. The part of the forelimb below the forearm or wrist in a human. And the corresponding part in many other animals. Verb. To give. Pass. Or transmit with the hand. Literally or figuratively. Beautiful. Noun. Someone who is beautiful. Can be used as a term of address. Adjective. Attractive and possessing beauty. Kindness. Noun. The state of being kind. Embrace. Noun. An act of putting arms around someone and bringing the person close to the chest. A hug. Verb. To clasp. Someone or each other. In the arms with affection. To take in the arms. To hug. Mowing. Verb. To cut down grass or crops. Verb. To make grimaces. Mock. Verb. To put into mows. Noun. The activity by which something is mown. Ninetieth. Noun. The person or thing in the ninetieth position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number ninety. Little. Noun. A small amount. Adjective. Small in size. Adverb. Not much. Pronoun. Not much. Not a large amount. Farm. Noun. A place where agricultural and similar activities take place. Especially the growing of crops or the raising of livestock. Verb. To work on a farm. Especially in the growing and harvesting of crops. Browsing. Verb. To scan. To casually look through in order to find items of interest. Especially without knowledge of what to look for beforehand. Noun. A place abounding with shrubs where animals may browse. Baggage. Noun. Usually uncountable. Luggage. Traveling equipment. Mark. Noun. Heading. Boundary. Land within a boundary. Verb. To put a mark on. Something. To make. Something. Recognizable by a mark. To label or write on. Something. Laser. Noun. A device that produces a monochromatic. Coherent beam of light. Verb. To cut with a laser. Basement. Noun. A floor of a building below ground level. Gallon. Noun. A unit of volume, equivalent to eight pints. Ill. Noun. Often pluralized. Trouble. Distress. Misfortune. Adversity. Adjective. Evil. Wicked. Of people. Adverb. Not well. Imperfectly. Badly. Hardly. Factor. Noun. A doer. Maker. A person who does things for another person or organization. Verb. To find all the factors of a number or other mathematical object. The objects that divide it evenly. Blade. Noun. The sharp cutting edge of a knife. Chisel. Or other tool. A razor blade. Sword. Verb. To skate on rollerblades. Noun. A kind of piton used in thin cracks. Hose. Noun. A flexible tube conveying water or other fluid. Verb. 
to water or spray with a hose. Booked. Verb, to reserve. Something, for future use. Carrot. Noun. A vegetable with a nutritious, juicy, sweet root that is often orange in color. Dacus carota. Especially the subspecies Sativus in the family Apiaceae. Verb. To treat. An animal pelt. With a solution of mercuric nitrate as part of felt manufacture. Liquid. Noun. A substance that is flowing. And keeping no shape. Such as water. A substance of which the molecules. While not tending to separate from one another like those of a gas. Readily change their relative position. And which therefore retains no definite shape. Except that determined by the containing receptacle. An inelastic fluid. Adjective. Flowing freely like water. Fluid. Not solid and not gaseous. Composed of particles that move freely among each other on the slightest pressure. Humid. Adjective. Containing perceptible moisture. Usually describing air or atmosphere. Damp. Moist. Somewhat wet or watery. Cod. Noun. A small bag or pouch. Contracts. Noun. An agreement between two or more parties. To perform a specific job or work order. Often temporary or of fixed duration and usually governed by a written agreement. Verb. To draw together or nearer. To shorten. Narrow. Or lessen. Adding. Verb. To join or unite. E.g. one thing to another. Or as several particulars. So as to increase the number. Augment the quantity or enlarge the magnitude. Or so as to form into one aggregate. Condition. Noun. A logical clause or phrase that a conditional statement uses. The phrase can either be true or false. Verb. To subject to the process of acclamation. Identify. Verb. To establish the identity of someone or something. Disembark. Verb. To remove from on board a vessel. To put on shore. Cameraman. Noun. Somebody who operates a movie camera or television camera. Dictionary. Noun. A reference work with a list of words from one or more languages. Normally ordered alphabetically. Explaining each word's meaning. And sometimes containing information on its etymology. Pronunciation. Usage. Translations. And other data. Verb. To look up in a dictionary. Nose. Noun. A protuberance on the face housing the nostrils. Which are used to breathe or smell. Verb. To move cautiously by advancing its front end. Air. Noun. The substance constituting Earth's atmosphere. Particularly. Verb. To bring. Something. Into contact with the air. So as to freshen or dry it. Listens. Verb. To pay attention to a sound or speech. Cleans. Noun. Removal of dirt. Verb. To remove dirt from a place or object. Future. Noun. The time ahead. Those moments yet to be experienced. Adjective. Having to do with or occurring in the future. Noun. Short for futures contract. Fortunate. Adjective. Auspicious. Integrations. Noun. The act or process of making whole or entire. Noun. The process of countering racial segregation. Do without. Verb. Usually transitive. To manage despite the lack of. Eyeshadow. Noun. Makeup that is applied to the eyelids and below the eyes to give a darker complexion there. Depth. Noun. The vertical distance below a surface. The degree to which something is deep. Firefighters. Noun. A person who puts out fires. Concentrate. Noun. A substance that is in a condensed form. Verb. To bring to. Or direct toward. A common center. To unite more closely. To gather into one body. Mass. Or force. Department. Noun. A part, portion, or subdivision. Himself. Pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. Him. The male object of a verb or preposition that also appears as the subject. German. Noun. A near relative. Adjective. Having the same mother and father. A full. 
brother or sister. Humbly. Adverb, in a humble manner. Maths. Noun. An abstract representational system used in the study of numbers. Shapes. Structure. Change in the relationships between these concepts. Cure. Noun. A method, device or medication that restores good health. Defense. Noun. The action of defending or protecting from attack, danger, or injury. Characterized. Verb. To depict someone or something a particular way, often negative. Engage. Verb. Heading. To interact socially. Attitude. Noun. The position of the body or way of carrying oneself. Verb. To assume or to place in a particular position or orientation. To pose. Hide. Verb. To put. Something. In a place where it will be harder to discover or out of sight. Console. Noun. A standalone cabinet designed to stand on the floor. Especially. One that houses home entertainment equipment. Such as a TV or stereo system. Indeed. Adverb. Modal. Truly. In fact. Actually. Interjection. Indicates emphatic agreement. Declarations. Noun. A written or oral indication of a fact, opinion, or belief. Login. Noun. A combination of a user's identification and password used to enter a computer. Program. Network. Etc. Anyway. Adverb. Regardless. Anyhow. Debris. Noun. Rubble. Wreckage. Scattered remains of something destroyed. Mentioned. Verb. To make a short reference to something. Historical. Noun. A historical romance. Adjective. Of. Concerning. Or in accordance with recorded history. Particularly. As opposed to legends. Myths. And fictions. Crutches. Noun. A device to assist in motion as a cane. Especially one that provides support under the arm to reduce weight on a leg. Lungs. Noun. A biological organ of vertebrates that controls breathing and oxygenates the blood. Concern. Noun. That which affects one's welfare or happiness. A matter of interest to someone. The adposition before the matter of interest is usually over. About or for. Verb. To relate or belong to. To have reference to or connection with. To affect the interest of. To be of importance to. Application. Noun. The act of applying or laying on, in a literal sense. Caregiver. Noun. A carer. Fortnight. Noun. A period of two weeks. Functions. Noun. What something does or is used for. Verb. To have a function. Give rise to. Verb. To be the origin of. To produce. To result in. Controlled. Verb. To exercise influence over. To suggest or dictate the behavior of. Adjective. Inhibited or restrained in one's words and actions. Collaborator. Noun. A person who works with others towards a common goal. Messenger. Noun. One who brings messages. Verb. To send something by messenger. Additives. Noun. A substance added to another substance or product to produce specific properties in the combined. Substance. Drink. Verb. To consume. A liquid. Through the mouth. Explorer. Noun. One who explores something. Forecast. Noun. An estimation of a future condition. Verb. To estimate how something will be in the future. Likes. Noun. Usually in the plural. Something that a person likes. Prefers. Verb. To enjoy. Be pleased by. Favor. Be in favor of. Noun. Sometimes as the likes of. Someone similar to a given person. Or something similar to a given object. A comparative. A type. A sort. Verb. To be likely. Drops. Noun. A small quantity of liquid. Just large enough to hold its own round shape via surface tension. Especially one that falls from a source of liquid. Verb. To fall in droplets. Of a liquid. Hits. Noun. A blow. A punch. A striking against. 
the collision of one body against another, the stroke that touches anything, verb, heading, physical, to strike, huge, adjective, very large, advance, noun, a forward move, improvement or progression, verb, to promote or advantage, adjective, completed before necessary or a milestone event, kidding, verb, to make a fool of, someone, noun, the action of the verb kid, habit, noun, an action performed on a regular basis, dawn, noun, the morning twilight period immediately before sunrise, verb, to begin to brighten with daylight, dependent, noun, one who relies on another for support, adjective, relying upon, depending upon,